Big boy, big boy on the rails. Welcome back to Old Frail and Decrepit. Today, we're going to be looking at tank cars. Now, I know that there's not a whole lot of really exciting things about tank cars, but I've got an ulterior motive for making this particular video. One of my grandsons, whenever he has the opportunity to pick the cars to run on his train, he's picking tank cars. Lots and lots of tank cars. So today we're going to be looking at tank cars, everything from Marks to Menards. We're also going to have some American Flyers, some Lionel, pre-war, post-war, modern. So today's video is mostly going to be running trains. So this ought to be fun. Thanks for watching. We're going to have just a quick demonstration of just how easy it is to couple up these tilt couplers by Marx. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. There we go. And the next one. Okay. Of course, they're going to make liars of me tonight. Now, those were pre-war there, so let's see if the post-war got any better. Oh, yeah. Two more. One to go. Uh, 
And that's how easy those tilt couplers work. These are the single dome marks tank cars. Uh, these would have been 50s, 60s. This one most definitely would have been in the 60s, I'm guessing. It started life as a four wheel rather than having the eight wheel trucks, you know, the four wheel trucks, it just had four wheels. And it was broken. One of the fake trucks was broken. And it had a hole in the side. So I made a wooden base for it. And took a couple of trucks from a donor car. And a piece of broken car of something else. Glued it up to fill the hole. And I'm able to keep it running. I previously had this glued to a flat car, but I decided I wanted to use the flat car for something else. And so that's when I made the new base for this. And then this is a very common one. Matter of fact, I've seen, I saw a video where a guy had looked like 20 of these or more all in a row. Very neat looking train. This is Marx's version of a track cleaner. The tank on the track cleaner here does not open. It's just there for looks. And how this worked is you would put the cleaning fluid here and then use this lever to lower it down onto the track. Now I'm figuring it was probably good for about one cleaning and then the pads would be so filthy but it is a neat, it was a neat looking car till it come apart. There we go. Ah oh, well, we'll fix that later. Oh, there we go. As usual, marks an easy fix. But uh, it is a neat looking work caboose. These are the six inch four wheel tanks, except for this one. Now, because it does have the red frame. That would tell us that originally this would have had the one-way couplers, which in a previous video I've shown these. But because the one-way couplers were screwed up, I just put tab and slots on this. But it does make for a good-looking car. The rest of these are the six-inch four-wheel. This by far is the most common, as you saw from the number of cars that I had running. This would probably be the newest variation between this and the Sinclair, be the newest. I wasn't able to find information. I'm sure there are others that do have that information, but I don't. In fact, the only uh, literature I have is this, which is not real good, you know, other than telling you what's out there. It doesn't tell you age. And the values that are mentioned are quite out of date. And then, of course, this is the same pattern, just in a different color. But th those are the variations that I have on these six-inch tape. These are all pre-war Lionel. The two in the back here, they have the box coupler, which is of the pre-war Lionels. That's one of my very favorite couplers because they do work so nicely. These front two 
actually were kind of almost identical, but this one was missing a coupler, so I made it into a transition car. I've actually shaved this down just a little so it will match up with the pre-war Lionel tab and slot and also the American Flyer. And this one I actually repainted because it was really, really shabby. But it turned out pretty good now. This is a Scout set that I got in a several boxes of trains that I got off of Facebook mark, uh, Marketplace. And as you can see, they had been sitting in a box next to where the previous owner used to do his paint projects. So the weathering is completely random and done just by paint spatter. Here is the tank car, is why I'm showing it in this video. Uh, it used to have the markings which were common to this type, which I think were the Sunco, but I think it had been exposed to some sort of a solvent because when I went to wash it, everything came off of it. And then of course, the rest, the uh, Baby Ruth car that goes with it, and then the caboose that goes with it. But I wanted to show you something here significant about these. Now, you know these are not compatible with regular uh, Lionel couplers. You can see it has rather a large leading tooth there. But I saw a video, and I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was I saw doing this. But they had taken, and they had, oh, got a little close there. They had trimmed down that tooth. By doing so, they were able to couple this with the regular Lionel couplers. So that's what I've done with this car. I trimmed it down on both ends. It still works with these. It doesn't couple as easily. That's the nuts. one nice thing I noticed about these Scout sets. They couple really nice, really easy. But this does make it so that I can run these cars from a Scout set with my regular Lionel rolling stock. So just another idea in case you've got some of these Scout cars and you feel like you're really limited as to what you can do with them. There is a way to make them work.